this is the old nature nurture debate and in a sense it's a false dichotomy and the 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 analogy i like to use here tom is if i took a bunch of ingredients that constitute baking a cake so the baking soda the flour the butter the eggs before i bake the cake you can identify each of the ingredients separately once i bake the cake it becomes an inextricable melange so if i now told you please point to the eggs please point to the sugar you couldn't and so the reality is <clears throat> for most phenomena we are an inextricable mix of both some more one or the other so my height is less likely due to socialization but in this it's also a false dichotomy for a second reason because it pits nature versus nurture as though they're sort of opposing forces whereas the reality is that nurture exists in its form because of nature so if you see a socialization pattern for example how we teach little girls and little boys to behave that could certainly be within the purview of socialization but to the extent that the exact same socialization patterns happen across time periods across cultures it's because they are supporting biological imperatives so the nature nurture dichotomy is really a false one